Hello fellow Dollar Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to part 3 of my Egypt legendary campaign from the Divided at Impera mod and uh, previously we crushed the Kyrenians uh, over here at the defensive siege in Ammonium and now we're, we're on the offensive, we were of course taking attrition due to the siege and possibly the supplies uh, which, uh, where are they? Can you even see? How much supplies you get over here or do you need oh whatever yeah if they uh, I'm currently uh, having this seeds over here because the balance of power is in their favor that means they're gonna be tr uh, they're gonna try to sally out which uh, suits me perfectly if they don't I, I, I really have to leave and uh, just uh, find another way or even bring this other force and just completely auto resolve it because I really Hugely dislike uh, sieges in uh, Rome 2 and almost every game because they just take so much time uh, That's the only reason so we don't have any agent over here or somebody to level up He's just patrolling the streets. Let's just say uh, Over here the public order is gonna be fixed as soon as this thing goes down governor's doing well and diplomatically we're currently perfect i think our next target is gonna be the nasa mones if we manage to take out the kirinaiki and look at that release troops of kirinaiki actually had a huge impact but still they don't want a peace treaty so uh we'll cross them anyways <clears throat> now the rest of the money i think it should be recruiting something at least uh, a few slingers yes and uh, how about over here? Let's recruit some troops here as well. Some slingers and some cheap as. But do the PC again? No. Um, let's get a, one more of that. And the rest. Just get two more of that. Right. Now cut that thing down. We'll just hire him later if need be. Alright, so. Um, we'll just end the turn. Let's. Uh, oh, the food is going down. Oh, yeah, because I just recruited units. It always goes down like that. And yes, I freaking told you, they are going to sally out because uh, the balance of power was messed up. I'm not gonna uh, skip this, even if the balance of power is so high in our favor, we're gonna play this manually. I just wanna see the pikes in action because the pikes look uh, fantastic in this game. They just feel so, you know, diverse and uh, they just give a really special feel. On a vanilla game, they look like they came out of a really cheap crap uh, CGI movie like every soldier pretty much the same uh, well they're not the same but that's the feel I get over here it feels a lot lot greater and that's what happens when you get a lot of missiles alright so we'll keep these guys over here on this end and I'm gonna keep you on the right side and general should be here now uh, let me just readjust my microphone there we go and you guys will be my front line we'll see how wide they are these guys will remain in the back for reinforcing reasons and you you can spread uh, you can stay spread like that I don't mind let's um let's at least put you into a group and let's begin oh yeah right I forgot so he's gonna be coming alone over here uh, let's go harass him with our cavalry 
And where the hell are the enemy reinforcements? I would hate them to see them coming in my back. Which, uh, if you guys uh, have been sticking around for quite some time in my channel, it really happens a lot. Like, uh, I'm expecting for the enemy reinforcements, for example, to come from over there. I'm sure that they will come from over there, but <laughs> last minute they just come behind my back and I'm just too stupid to notice sometimes or lazy. And I get destroyed. That's pretty much it about it. I'm gonna put them on the skirmish. Can you just open fire, please? There you go. Alright. Come over here, dude. Oh, there they are. So, they kind of coming on the left side. I think I should advance. Let me advance over here. And realign the whole force, actually. Come on, dudes. We haven't gotten a single kill yet, and we're getting close to the enemy slingers. Which is gonna be bad. Like, really bad. Come on. Get them! Did we even get a kill? Nope. Not a single one. And you pretty much wasted most of your ammunition. Imbeciles. Alright. Let's get you over here. And you guys right behind them. And you guys just come like this. I don't want you so much stretched, uh, stretched out. Although I've noticed that uh, if you s uh, stretch your units, uh, the missile units, right, like really wide in this mode, they tend to shoot uh, a lot more. Like they kind of just uh, bug out when you have them into deep lines. Like they can't shoot or something for some reason. I don't know if, it's th if uh, that's the case, how it's, it's meant to be working, but uh, yeah, that's what I witnessed in some of the battles that I've played. Come on, guys! Oh, I should uh, remember to put you on uh, phalanx mode. Uh, yes, alright, where did that cavalry go? It's probably hiding back here. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna get you into skirmish mode as well, because I'm just too tired to micromanage all of that. Uh, let's keep the cavalry back. It's gonna... I need to find a way to counter uh, the enemy general, in order to get all of my boys to just go rampant into the enemy missiles. I'm gonna come up here with these boys, I wanna see what's close to here, and where the hell they are. Oh dear lord, these guys are gonna take like forever to arrive. So just get over here and uh, you guys are on skirmish mode so everything is gonna be fine. Alright, let's go take care of them. And how about here? Let's go have a fast start. The enemy, uh, my general, just stay back here. That's right boys, just keep shooting and uh, you're gonna be safe for now. Get them boys. Where did that enemy general go? Where the hell did he go? Okay, we gotta go wider and uh, get in pike formation. You two fellas, get back. There's no need to stay. On. Oh, there he is. Don't mind him. Alright, we gotta charge over here as well. Don't worry if he comes after us. We have uh, really fast cavalry. So we'll be able to just uh, get away from them. Alright, I think my general should get a charge over here. It should be an easy kill. Just to stop them from advancing. Let's see this. There you go. Damn it, that was brutal. And they're shaken. I just did that in order to stop them. Alright, let's get a quick charge over here. Uh, wrong unit. Okay, you. Yeah, why, why the hell not get a charge fast? Because we gotta leave from here. Let's pull the general out. He did his job. And uh, let's get him around. I think he's gonna be fine to go into one-on-one -on -one against these guys. Alright, I think we should just come over here. Let's get our general towards this way. How about the rest of the guys over here? They're holding quite well. Okay, good. Escape towards there. You go towards that. You get into formation. Because we have to charge over here. Use that and that. And go. And uh, alright. Now you can go back into that. And you into that. And you. What's that? Oh. Screw it. 
Okay, my general is destroying him, so just go and hunt down any remaining units. And I'm gonna need all of you to help this brother out. Let's fill in that gap over here. What's that? Is it on fire at will? Yes. Right, make sure that never comes back. How about my general? He's absolutely destroying that guy. Let's bring you over here and you go over onto that. Actually, you and you go here. You got the momentum from the charge. That's why I'm sending them like this. All right. Let's get you over here, boys. And uh, let's get you on the side. All right. Start shooting these boys now. Oh, you can go into melee. It's not a big deal. And uh, all right. You're going there. Go and hunt that guy down. And you come over here. All right. Get into position, boys. And uh, come on, just make sure these guys never come back. Where are you? Get over there. All right, all of this group, just get out of skirmish because I want you to follow my orders and not act like stupid cunts. How about the fight over here? We're actually getting through the pikes. Look at that. They're like fighting really close to each other. Damn it. All right, what's that? Oh, uh, he's the he's the general. That's why he's not breaking down. Well, he's gonna change his mind soon. Uh, okay, these guys are done for. So all of you, can you? Okay, you two, just shoot this one. You get over here and you start shooting that one. How about the pikes over here? They they're doing well, but these guys are on fixed formation, most likely. That's why they're attacking so weird like that. Okay, I'm just paying too much, uh, too much attention on the troops and I'm forgetting to actually do the stuff in order to win. What are you doing? Come on, get over here. And they're getting destroyed now. Oh damn it, these a-holes are shooting my own men. Well, it happens sometimes. You can't have it all, right? Alright, get ready for a charge. Damn it, not a single kill. On the general that's that's amazing actually all right oh get back I shouldn't have sent you over there actually there was no point all right get a charge over here use this everybody stop shooting I don't want you killing any of my men this guys actually took a beating but they seem to be doing all right now that's because I had them very spread Ooh, that was brutal and we won all right let's hunt down everybody that we can uh, it's not gonna make a big difference uh, taking out the force is a guaranteed uh, auto resolve victory by trying to take the city uh, who else did I miss I think not many survived okay let's send the general over there he's never gonna be able to catch them Actually, go there. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's let's exit. I think we won. Fair and square. Alrighty, um, yeah, I'm gonna release just to make money. Fog of war, supply lines can be affected by many things including seasons, sieges, diplomacy and fertility. Okay. Returned home, mission failed. Oh, come on, dude, I'm gonna capture it now. Research the technology, yeah, couldn't care less about it. And there you go, just the navy inside. We destroyed the whole force. And we're gonna be taking up on the Nasamonas next. I know we got a trade agreement, but a uh, trade agreement doesn't have a huge penalty. Oh, shit. Look at that, all sweet money. Hell yeah, we want that. 
even if it messes up with the public order, there's gonna be a rebellion next turn. Let's hope it's gonna. Um, damn it. Okay, let's get here. Because Paratonion uh, got two extra ships, which count as an extra garrison, so we better try to defend that just in any case. But for well, the garrison, uh, the uh, rebellion is not gonna be able to just start straight away. I'm gonna. How many turns to turn? Oh shit, okay, I'm just gonna destroy it. Make some money. Uh, so we're minus two fold over here. We better increase that then. Um, let's repair. How much public order problems does the devastation cost? Where is it? Just minus three. Uh, we're gonna be here for some turns uh, due to rebellions and stuff. So I'm gonna just leave these uh, the way they are. Uh, I wanna waste less money to build them up. <coughs> the problem now is that uh, the food, I'm starting to see problems with the food. Now, is that gonna be enough, like one farm on its province? For now, I mean, I'm not gonna stick with just that. Alright, I think we can get rid of that now. And build a farm, because uh, we'll, we'll get this one. I only had this one because uh, I was missing the main province. Alright, uh, there's two the hell damn it everybody died no one is left alive okay whatever we're gonna find the solution sooner or later we get a governor here everything seems fine all right um so these guys are next and they're in war with the Garamantians that's perfect because if I declare war on the Nasamones and take them out as you can see now these guys the Garamantians hate me but if I take these guys out they're gonna love me that means I'm gonna secure my border from this side I got it secured over here uh, with the Vlemia and um, yeah I think uh, perhaps them will just uh, waste a few turns just building up our uh, formidable prominent I would say uh, Empire and uh, attack the Seleucids. Who are they in war with now? Bithynia. Oh, they're with war with Bactria. Atropatkan and Nabatea. Oh. Yep, we're gonna decide about that. Now, uh, we gotta just take it one step at a time. Uh, we're making, we were declaring war on Kirinaiki, we took them out. Now it's gonna be the Nasamones, and uh, later, wh whatever is, uh, whatever comes next. All right, I'm gonna recruit uh, just one more guy over here, and uh, does that have a public order? Uh, if it causes public order problem, no. Okay, how much for that? Which provides supply? How much food does it make? Oh, okay, that's minimal food. Um. I don't like how this works unless it can be built fast no it can't be built fast okay I think I'm gonna skip the whole supply line uh, mechanic into this game and I'm probably just gonna be blitzing like make a swift strike take the enemy city just make sure I bring it within my border uh, with within my domain so I can uh, just bypass the whole supply mechanic okay did I forgot uh, forget about anything how about side, by the way? It's still holding. Yeah, the uh, the Lydians are helping are uh, helping me out. <coughs> yep. All right. Uh, all right. That's on the negative. Plus nine. Plus three. Minus seven. Okay, we have to build over here. How much? Plus plus five food. Okay. I think it's gonna be more than enough. Perhaps we'll even build one of this. We'll we'll see. Just I'm just wasting time right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, this guy. Uh, oh, he's the pharaoh. I only just noticed. Okay. Um, what do you get? Cultural conversion. More cultural conversion. Uh, yeah. Why the hell not? Let's go with that because it greatly reduces the public order problems due to foreign cultures, and we're gonna go for more of that. Let's see how fast this province is gonna change. We don't want it Egyptian culture, we want it Greek. 
at least the Egyptian is going down rapidly and the Greek one is increasing uh, is increasing as well all right let's end the turn Oh damn it, more rebels. I shouldn't have wasted money. The thing is, I think I most likely can defend against that. I think. Let me see. Mm, mm. It's really hard to tell, but I'm just gonna let it fall. I just can't have this province. Like, I, don't, I don't care about side. It's just cut off and I need to spend a lot of money to just uh, keep it here. Um, keep it alive just let them take it and the rebellion actually happened on Paratonion subject gains notoriety and uh, let's get you over there then come on alrighty so we're not that's can I see where my food is going why I am depleting so much, is it because... Oh shit, I should get this guy outside of the city, by the way. Alright, let's go cross them. Good thing that they didn't uh, just try to run away and they stayed over here. It's greatly appreciated, dude. But they get a fleet over there as well. Alright, let's make some money. Oh, I totally forgot I got my fleet over here. Uh, what do... Oh shit, okay. Um, You know what? Let me think. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back and wait for them to take more attrition because if I attack them right now, they're just gonna crush me. Plain and simple. Uh, ha -ha. We're not replenishing over here. Let's get manpower sorted. Okay, there's probably not enough people over here in order to replenish, right? No, seems fine. Let me see over here. Seems kind of fine. All right, now next one. Let's go with uh, better missiles. And uh, if we can't replenish, that's gonna be fine. Okay, first of all, where's my? Okay, screw it. Mm, let's go to this one. What do you want? A young member of a rival family has found himself with serious debts. Perhaps we can use this to our advantage. Um, yes, demand a bride. Uh, a bribe. Not a bride. <laughs> all right. I'm just I'm just taking stuff all over again, again, and again. Uh, ooh, the food actually dropped even more. Is that because I took the army outside? It says here Global logistic level plus one minus food plus upkeep Does that mean it consumes like No, it says low supply consumption because the armies consume regional supplies. Huh. So why is the food so goddamn low? Is it because of this one building over here? Uh, whatever the case, all I gotta do is wait for a few turns for uh, my farms to go up. So I'm just gonna lay low for the time being. I'm just gonna keep ending turns. And if the food problem becomes even worse, I'm just gonna destroy uh, the uh, buildings that produce uh, resources in order just to make up 
more food. Okay, I'm just looking for the remote. I'm just trying to find the remote for my air conditioning because I'm just I'm burning up here. I can't find it. Damn it! Where is it? Finally, I found it. The, pro <laughs> the problem is that um, where I live, if I leave my windows open at this time of the year, it's pretty much great. But if I close the windows in order not for somebody uh, with a bike to pass by and to just make a huge noise, uh, yeah, it's uh, it becomes obnoxious. Too much heat if I close the windows. Anyway, so the careless sons paid off plus 4,000 into my treasury now the public order is going to hell why the hell is that? faction slaves, taxes, differences okay we haven't built this one yet but then again previous turn it was on the it was on zero oh that's because there was a, a military crackdown most likely how about here it's minus four now and we still get two excuse me military crackdown is there like extreme drought yeah okay that's the problem I see I gotta pay attention to this ones quite often in order to see the weather effects and as uh, somebody advised me to on the comments which I really thank you a lot guys and um, Let's go across the rebels first. Don't run, come on. Don't run because I don't know if I can win now. What's inside that? Oh, okay. Okay, I can win that. <laughs> okay, just deal with them. I wasn't expecting a full stack of just the uh, townsfolk. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, let's give you that as well. And where's your father, by the way? here yeah you're both crap you're a populist and he is a patriot what does patriot mean okay uh, we're not in war with anybody so it's gonna be fine all right does that if upgraded consume anything uh, somewhat just minus two more how much to build? Ooh, that's a lot of money. Well, we get money right now, but I don't know if I want to waste it. Uh, this thing, just let it repair on itself. And should I go for harbors like... Ooh, they provide supply lines. Plus two regions. Hmm. Although they're not making food, but they're not consuming either. Or do they like later? Oh shit, yeah they do. But not on level 2. Oh wow. Just leave it at that. Alright, let's um, let's bring you towards here. How is it going over here? Have we started replenishing or not yet? Not yet. There's only a hundred Kliruhi available, really? Oh, that's... That's the whole... It's combined Kliruhi and Lai, I see. But then again, it says like I get 1690 Kliruhi available. But it's probably women and children as well in there. But still, if like a third of that was men... It's still more than 200 in order. Mm, looks weird. It's weird. Well, I I don't I don't want to wait, so I'm just gonna go like this. 
and I'm just gonna recruit some new stuff like these uh, Libyans are they pikemen as well? they seem to be pikemen where can I see it? okay I think they are pikemen I think, I'm not sure no they're not, they're spearmen okay whatever the case they're still gonna do the job um, yeah just get one more of that I think that's gonna be the way to go <laughs> if we just run out of guys we'll just uh, do that, just disband them or merge them and just get fresh new units now okay I'm just wasting too much time it's just I don't, uh, I don't feel safe I, I feel like I'm just gonna screw up most of the time should I bring that goddamn thing down? Okay, just bring it down. Nowhere else I have it on level 2, or shouldn't I? No, nah, no, nah, just keep it. Right, what do we get here? On level 2, it doesn't cause any problem. Over here, we get weapons. Here, we get 10 iron and wealth from commerce. Over here, we get armor. Over here we get mining from industry. So what uh, do we need now? I think I'm gonna go with iron works. Because it makes a hell lot of my... Oh my dear lord, how much? 6,000 to build that thing? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna bother and let's upgrade one of that it's gonna start depleting some food but it's also making purple dyes in there so it's gonna be fine all right let's end the turn no nope. level ups Anthusa and what do you want yeah just get this one. Oh come on this requires rank 4 we're not rank 4 yet okay we gotta unlock one more of that uh, I think I'm gonna go for this because if I remember correctly authority redu uh, increases public order as a stat that applies on Attila I don't remember if it applies on um, on uh, Rome 2 as well it has to be right all right what do you need is there anything like research rate wise Okay, just go for that. Plus two public order is gonna be a great thing. And how about that fleet over here? We we can't see it now, but I bet it's still over there. How about the garrison in here? Oh, it's building up. That's great. And let's actually recruit these guys. Like, uh, are we gonna be taking attrition over here? Nope. Okay, just come over here. Nah. Perhaps. If we do that, we're gonna trigger the Carthaginians. Do we get a non-aggression pact with those or just trading? Okay, we got a non-aggression pact. Great. Alrighty, let's keep going. Oh, they came themselves. Good. That actually gets me out of the difficult uh, position of having to chase them. Which is great. And there goes uh, Kyrenia. No more of them, I hope.
It is a simple gift, gold, but one that many appreciate as we I are sure. Kinda love that actually. If only I could get more money. As you can see here, if I try to tweak it, I'm not gonna even be able to get that 5,000. Perhaps we can get like a trade. Uh, no. Okay, if we sign a peace treaty, they're gonna love us. They're gonna start to love us. So we'll get a, peace, uh, a trade agreement later. Because I don't have any reason to go after them right now. I actually just let them create a new faction. Alright, it's going even worse here. What's that? Autumn. So it should be plus two. Okay, there's just not enough public order buildings here. Like one more for the farms. That's great. The food is okay for now though. Let's build this one as well. And um, how about this one? Produces food. Does it multiply the supplies and the food? It says something here, but I really can't understand what it means by that. So I'm just gonna uh, hope it means. Uh, why do they stand in here? Oh, now finally we have started taking replenishment, at least in the uh, lower tier units. And uh, I'm gonna start recruiting not a great army, just the secondary one here to help me out. Um, I'm just gonna get like a core of three of these guys and the rest, okay, can't recruit anymore. Oh, I totally forgot, you go back into patrol, dude. Come on. There you have it. Alright, we'll probably have to deal with the rebellion soon here. Okay, the the money is going down. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have this army as a backup force. That means all I need is uh, missiles. Let's just uh, recruit a ton set of missiles. Because on legendary difficulty, pretty much all of the units on melee are just impossible to get down. Like, uh, if you try to engage a hoplite wall uh, from a really good uh, hoplite unit, it doesn't have to be good, like uh, second tier, at least not first. They're almost Im impossible to get through. The only way you can get them is by going after... Oh, what the hell? Okay, something happened, but I don't know, I don't care. Yeah, the only way to get through like really tanky units is by shooting the hell out of them. And that's my tactic on uh, Legendary, which really great, uh, works out well. Because, uh, yeah, on Meller, you get reduced stats. Uh, no, the AI gets increased stats, and uh, you're left with uh, the basic. So, the missiles don't uh, suffer the same uh, penalties. Alright, uh, now I'm gonna choose the civil development because I'm actually aiming for... I'm still aiming for public order, right? I got four turns remaining, this one, yeah. And I've noticed a problem, like, let's go over here. Look at the freaking growth. Current growth rate, one per turn, really? Damn it. Province effects. Oh, our trades populace. So we really don't want the outraged populace to be present. As soon, damn it! Excuse me. As soon as I take out the NASA mourners, uh, I'm gonna try to just fix that goddamn public order problem. Because that's costing me a lot. Like, look at that minus eight. It really has an impact here. And I'm also gonna go for these technologies over here, which really offer growth. And yeah, that's 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 a goddamn plan for now. All right, let's get you over here, and let's get you over here. Are you take? Let's see. Are you gonna take attrition of that? Nope. Okay. Of course you're not. You're the true sons of Egypt. 
All right, where's my fleet, by the way? It's still up there. Um, no, oh, plenty of level ups. That's great. Okay, what do we want? Plus one more cultural conversion. Leave that out. Plus one also from here. Uh, but, oh, there we are. We can get public order from this one and this one. Which one do we need? Let's go with... Uh, do we get banditry in this province? Where the hell can we see the banditry? Sleeves... Uh, where's the banditry? Oh, there it is. So... 1% threat level. How much do you decrease it? Minus 6, okay. I think that's an overkill, so I'm just gonna... Um, choose this one for now. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Nothing changed. Why the hell nothing changed? Or it did, uh, just... Yeah, whatever. Alright, go for that. And get this one. Prochoros. Give this guy more movement speed. How about the Onisodoros over here? He's just chilling. Okay, uh, let's get this pie actually. Just for one turn. I wanna see what the hell. Ooh, that's a lot of slingers. That's why I get uh, plenty of cavalry. I should even get some more. How about mercenaries? Mercenary cavalry. None available. Uh, this is the same province, right? Yeah. And what's inside the gila? 15 goddamn units. African villagers, African spearmen. African horsemen, African hunters, African tribesmen. All right, all right. What's that? Patrol. Okay, just go in patrol as you stand here, and uh, you go as well. All right. I need money to build this one. How much does it cost? Three thousand. Let's hope we're gonna get it next turn. I'm really sorry guys if this is like a, if you are like a old to this David uh, Edimpera uh, how the game works but I'm quite new and that's why I chose Egypt for a first faction I saw the easy one but I guess it's not so easy because as you guys told me it's one of the uh, most difficult factions at least in the beginning because of the dual uh, culture they've got and the penalties uh, to foreign cultures which is really as I can see is causing a problem which doesn't allow me to just um, find out about the game uh, the way I want to like I'm I'm trying to figure out the public order where I should be trying to figure out how the supply system works how the population works how the replenishment works in uh, uh, how it works with um <coughs> yeah Screw it. I forgot what I want to say. <laughs> Alright. Protection expired, but uh, we're pretty well. Just the Egyptian nobility having a problem. That's uh, the guy that's ruling up here, right? Yeah. He hasn't fought a battle still. That's why he has a problem. Alright. He dropped to minus 10. We still don't have the money to upgrade. Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They left. They got them left and they didn't go to here so they just made an attack on uh, the Garamantians that means if we take them out now it's game over we can seriously just come back and defend All right can that force reach here though mm, nope it can't uh, so damn it why did you did they remove the forced march I could force a fight outside because they're just standing there. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, what time is it? I think it's time to end the video. So I really hope you enjoyed guys. Feel free to leave a like or a comment and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye bye.